so my name is Jean-Louis Landry. I'm the executive director of Open North. Open North is Canada's leading nonprofit that specializes in open data and civic technology. We're also very active in the OGP, the Open Government Partnership, um, and we work across Canada, across the Americas, um, and it's great to be here. The reason why Open North decided to be involved in organizing uh, this year's uh, Open Cities Summit um, was because cities face big challenges around the world. And in Canada, where we're based, we also work with cities that face challenges that I think are shared by many others um, elsewhere in the world. Um, you know, cities these days fa face stress and shocks in terms of their urban uh, infrastructure, social infrastructure, physical infrastructure, and climate change. Those are things that unite us globally, and the open data movement is well positioned to, uh, to offer some solutions to be able to address these. So in, uh, in being involved uh, in this year's summit, it's an opportunity to collaborate with many international organizations and also learn from other cities in the way that they're resolving those types of issues. I think so. I'm very happy with the results, yes. Um, the turnout this morning was quite good. Uh, we had over 200 uh, registered participants, I think 250, um, and we had a wonderful keynote speaker uh, with Amin Ra uh, Mashiriki, uh, who's the uh, Open Data Analytics Officer from the, New the City of New York City. Um, and other cities shared with us uh, their experience, like the City of Edmonton in Canada, uh, the City of Montevideo, uh, and Zaragoza from, uh, from Spain. So we're here to learn, we're here to share, we're here to, to listen, um, and then actively participate in really facing you know, these challenges together. Because uh, if we don't do it, you know, there's, there's things that we are pressing. There's a sense of urgency, and the open data community is actually um, you know, founded on values of openness, transparency, accountability, but then also collaboration. So that's why we're excited here. Many cities have adopted open data policies and have open data initiatives. So they've made a decision, a political decision, and an uh, administrative decision to go forward with open data. But then what happens next, right? So we're really at the, the end of the beginning, right? Once you have that infrastructure in place, then it's the real challenges that come. So how do you engage with not only citizens, but also academia, the philanthropic sector, the private sector, and build a dynamic, diverse, and inclusive open data ecosystem so that you're able to um, understand the context of the challenges that we're facing. So we need to, to involve citizens because they're the ones that, you know, on a daily basis, walk down the street, drive down the street, uh, need to feel secure, want to have clean air, good quality of life. So this is, this is why the Open Data, uh, the Open City Summit is a great opportunity to really put citizens at the center of this vision and cities being, you know, uh, where people are going these days. So, you know. so some people would say that we're looking at liquid democracy, right? And so with the flow of information and raw data, um, then there's much more uh, fluidity in the way that we're able to uh, engage and also uh, have access to information. So, you know, I think the idea is to create the enabling conditions for citizens and other stakeholders to be able to benefit from that. Um, but, you know, we can't take things for granted, right? Because if there's a change of political leadership, we can easily go back. So we have a responsibility, civil society and citizens, to really demonstrate that we're interested, engaged, and that we want to build the city of the future.